I'm going on a hike and we made plans to go super super early like a week ago and we're both regretting those <laughs> early plans today <laughs> but I'm excited I haven't been on a hike in so long so <sighs> okay let's go on a hike <laughs> I haven't even introduced this video so what's up everybody welcome back to my channel welcome back to another vlog as you guys saw I woke up early today I went on a hike with my best friend and I went I got a smoothie everything I've done so far today is kind of out of my routine but for the rest of the day I think it's gonna be pretty much just um, a productive yet kind of like average day in my life I think I'm gonna title this video how I romanticize my life more specifically it's how I romanticize just very average ordinary daily type of things that I do I feel like if you watch any of my videos you can kind of see that I romanticize the out of literally like the most average simple little daily tasks but I feel like it's so important to do that to enjoy the day more you know and your life more I don't even want to like describe how much I struggled during the hike earlier because it just shows how out of shape I am but it was honestly a really fun challenge and you know waking up early going and doing the hike just to start out the day was pretty good after the hike though I was so exhausted that for a second I was like oh my god I just want to go home shower to maybe like take a nap or just like chill out but no that's not what we're doing today i have many things i want to do many things i want to accomplish and i want to be able to do something like that in the morning like something that gets you going and still be able to do more throughout the day and still feel energized and that's what we're gonna do so i got my little protein smoothie this is just like a piña colada but with protein i guess but yeah this video is mainly focused on how i romanticize the little things and the average things and the ordinary things to make them feel less ordinary if that makes any sense all right let's go okay i'm back home now and i have some like little chores i have to do i have to do some laundry i have to do some cleaning um that doesn't really take me too long but as of recently while i'm doing my chores or i'm going to get my starbucks in the morning like during the drive i've been listening to a podcast that i'm so obsessed with i have to share it with you guys it's this podcast and i've only listened to a couple but the ones that i listened to were so freaking good so currently i'm listening to that one this episode i thought was so 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 good and this one seven tips to be more disciplined if you guys struggle with like being productive or whatever it is this one is so good i highly recommend listening to it have you planned out what you want at the end of this year what you want in five years what you want in 10 years you know and it, it's very simple just put your goals down on paper and then start to get more and more clear been a couple hours since I last vlogged because my little quick cleanup turned into an entire deep clean of my house I did three loads of laundry I found every single cobweb imaginable in my house and I got rid of it I cleaned every mirror I cleaned my shower that took me like an hour dude I vacuumed my couch I found every single dog hair I could find and I got rid of it yeah so that was like a good like two hour situation anyways the point that I'm trying to get to is that I came to Starbucks to try and work because um, I have a lot of things that I have to do on my computer and I knew if I was home I was not gonna do it I was either gonna like knock out or I was gonna just be on my phone and it was not gonna work so I brought myself to Starbucks and I'm gonna get a coffee a little afternoon pick me up and I'm gonna do some work which I highly highly recommend I honestly really really do if you're stuck in like a cycle of being at home and like trying to do work at home take yourself to a cafe even if it's like not to work it's just to like give yourself like a mental breather it's honestly so therapeutic because you get out of like those four walls in your room or your house so that's what i'm gonna do right now i brought my laptop i brought my book i brought my journal since i'm making this entire video of like how i romanticize my life i feel like it's important for you guys to know if you guys are trying to do the same thing is that a big 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 part of that is romanticizing your life without it being aesthetically pleasing you know what i mean i feel like i spent so long like not enjoying the little things in my life because i felt like you know it could have been better or it could have been this or it should have been this you have to romanticize and do things that feel specific to your life romanticize your commute to work like if you walk to work if you walk to school if you take the bus to school if you take the train to school your early shifts to work your late night shifts to work when you're walking your dog when you're doing chores when you're going out and doing errands i feel like we do things like that all of the time that it would be such a 
shame to not make it fun for ourselves. Okay, I really want some coffee, so I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna go to Starbucks. literally in there for an hour and a half and I felt like I was in there for like 20 minutes I chugged my coffee and I got so much done that I know for a fact I wouldn't have gotten done at home the entire time I was there I was sitting next to this like older um, man and he was like reading his book the entire time and it was the cutest thing ever now I can go home and enjoy my night and I can read and I can light all my candles and I can eat some food and enjoy the rest of the night I have told so many people this but I make my night routine just the safest most comfortable most amazing time in my day i literally make it like so perfect every single night and yeah it like makes me excited to get everything done that i need to get done throughout the day that way when it's nighttime i can enjoy it so i'm going to show you guys later what i do i mean i've done a night routine video already but like there's just little things here and there that i do that literally make me feel like i'm in a movie this is a little dramatic for me but, <laughs> but i swear i do it every single night and it's made me love 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 my nighttime. I'm gonna go get my takeout and yeah. I have a feeling and I think I know that the older man that was sitting next to me that was reading the entire time, his car is like parked next to mine. And I wanna show you guys his car because he seemed just like the coolest person. He was literally drinking his tea, reading his book. He had like a Hawaiian shirt on. He was just an entire vibe. Um, and I felt very like safe and comfortable sitting next to him. He seemed really friendly. Tell me he is in a vibe. Wow. Be dramatic but i just took the most relaxing shower i've ever taken in my entire life usually in the shower i'll listen to like bad bunny or just like you know like party music but i played this playlist on spotify called background jazz music i've said this before but i listen to jazz music like when i'm getting ready for bed or when i'm reading or whatever but never in the shower and it was literally i i felt like i was at a spa and i've never even been to a spa it was the most relaxing thing ever and now i'm eating my noodles you know when everybody talks about journaling and everybody's like you know make a list of things that you're grateful for and everybody like i know a lot of people do that like in the morning they make a list of things that they're grateful for and i used to always say like oh i don't have to do that because you know i don't think of myself as like an ungrateful person like i kind of know already what i'm grateful for so i don't i didn't see the need to make a list but i swear if you guys take the time to do it like either at night or in the morning you just make a list of like 10 things i started out with 10 things and you have to find 10 things in your life that you're grateful for write them all down i honestly found it to be really eye-opening because after like five like i literally was like okay you know the obvious ones like health family like all that type of stuff but after like five things the rest are just things that i don't even think about but then when you're writing it down you're just like oh wait yeah totally grateful for that i'm always thinking of all the things that i'm like working towards and everything that i want and everything that i want to achieve but it's important to take a moment i feel like i sound like i'm doing a ted talk but i honestly think it's very important to take a moment and be grateful for what you have right now mm -hmm. 